Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and we are doing AP Physics 1, the 2015 exam. This is the first year exam that they switched from AP Physics B to Physics 1. Um, <clears throat> and so this is probably the last uh, AP Physics 1 question, uh, free response question I'm going to do for a while. I still have plenty of AP Physics B questions that I'm going to do, and um, I'm thinking about how I'm going to uh do those free response questions but they're a little bit different than the physics one exam questions one four and five okay whatever um let's start with question one here two blocks are connected by a string of negligible mass that passes over a massless pulley that turns with negligible friction as shown in the figure above the mass m2 of block two is greater than mass of m1 of block one and the blocks are released from rest the dots below represent two blocks draw free body diagrams shown um okay and draw relative lengths of all vectors. Okay, draw free body diagram showing and labeling the forces exerting each block and draw the relative lengths of all the vectors to reflect their relative magnitude. Okay, so I have uh, M2G here, M1G here. And then on each block, so the gravity is acting on both blocks. And then I have um, some tension here these two should be the same. Now, a few things. This 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 should be larger. So one, two, three and a half. One. So, one thing I might do is actually shorten these arrows a little bit because they should. Um, what's going to happen is ultimately this thing's going to fall and this thing's going to rise, right? So the the net the net. Um, Sorry, the net force on this should be upward, like that. These two should be the same, and the net force on this one should be downward. So this one kind of like has, has a net force down, and this is just tension on the rope. I just read as T. Okay, derive the magnitude of the acceleration of block two. Express your answers in terms of N1, M2, and G. Okay, so I do a net, fo um, net force on this object. I got M2, G minus t is the net force which has to equal m2 times a okay so i can solve for a but i don't know the tension in the rope right and so that's why i got to use this equation t minus m1g equals m1 and a because this thing is going to accelerate at the same rate this one accelerates they got to move together so the accelerations have to be same just sort of opposite in direction so here this tells me t is equal to m1a plus m1g I can factor out of m1a plus g and then I'm going to put that into here so I get m2g minus m1a plus g equals m2a now I'm going to group everything with a on one side right so m2g minus m1g this is negative m1a I bring it over here it becomes m 2a plus m1a and just to you know because I just to uh, finish out this this is g m2 minus m1 equals a factor out the a m1 plus m2 so therefore a is equal solving for a now uh, g m2 minus m1 over m1 plus m2 okay so it's always with a free body diagram. Set up free body diagrams, do net force equations. Net force equals MA. It's like, I mean, that is like 20% of AP physics right there, of, of mechanics. Free body diagram, F equals MA. Block of mass M3 is added to the system shown below. There's no friction between block three and the table. Indicate whether the magnitude of the acceleration of block two is now larger, smaller, or the same as the original two block system, um, smaller. The reason it's smaller is because um, there's more mass to pull. I mean, I could do an equation, but I, I think like intuitively, like, like what if this were giant? Of course it's gonna be slow. More mass to pull. 
So um, F net equals M A. More mass to pull. F net equals more mass to pull while F net is the same. So X A will decrease. Okay, so let's take a look at scoring guidelines for this one. Uh, tension M1G, M2G tension. That's good. Um, see, they, they, they wanted the dots. They wanted to go upward, have the same length, labeled as the tension force. Um, they wanted two to be bigger than one, and, label, and there's no other forces. Um, A equals M2 minus M1 over times G over M2 plus M1. Um... Acceleration new system and thus block two is smaller, indicating the mass of the system is larger. For a clear indication, the tension on block two is greater. I didn't say this way. Yeah, so here's my alternative solution. Indicating the mass of the system is larger. For indicating the net force exerted in the system stays the same. So, yeah. All right, that was pretty straightforward. So I hope you guys like that, and I will see you in the next free response question. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.